Hello friends, just a hopefully a quick short video here of uh, some of the modifications I did to the trigger assembly of my arrow gun. I will go over those now. So all these white parts on the back of the two position three way valve are new as well as I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very well. I'll get a close up of it in a little bit here. Uh, this black part here that's inside the valve itself. Um, so all these white parts are new and uh, the reason I did this, if you haven't seen my last video that I uploaded, um, just like the slide valve that I was using before, um, you know this valve is only rated at you know whatever 150 psi let's say um, and it, you know obviously it can handle a lot more than that but the issue is and I will show you this here right now this here was the stock um, lever to actuate the valve and it has this weird uh, I'm not sure what kind of material this is it's very very slippery um, it's like a, a waxy plastic um, uh, like I said I'm not entirely sure what that black part sticking out is what material it is uh, I wish I knew because it's really interesting uh, properties to it but the issue with this is when it was in there um, you had to over about 300 psi of pressure in the valve you had to use um, just a ton of pressure on this thing um, and so what I wanted to do is, and what I succeeded in doing, is uh, making this assembly, which applies, uh, has a lot more mechanical advantage, so it's really, really, really easy to operate, um, even at higher pressures, because of its mechanical advantage. So anyway, I will go over these parts in a little more detail. Um, this part here fits around the clippered valve itself, and it just has a hole through it. Uh, for a pivot point and I machined a brass rod that fits down in there then the trigger more or less this part here is uh, I, I had a block of nylon and I just carved this out of it on a bandsaw and use a file or uh, sorry a uh, use a sanding belt to kind of shape this the way I wanted it to so anyway the way that this works now um, is you just squeeze it towards this cylinder and it fires the gun and like I said um, you know being this far away uh, offers a ton of mechanical advantage over the pushing of the valve. I'll go over the other pieces of it really quick uh, the other pieces that I had to machine or yeah in this case I did use the lathe to do it um, so the only other piece and a ball might fall out here if I'm unlucky. Nope, it stayed in. So I'll bring this up a little closer here. This is the other piece I had to turn on the lathe. This just, um, so you can see it's two different diameters, which is, there's two different diameters obviously inside the valve itself. It goes from this, um, I think it's around 0.33 inches down to just a little under a quarter of an inch there. Um, and it also, hopefully you'll be able to see this, uh, it's tapered inside there is what I had to do because it uh, pushes up against a ball uh, so it automatically self-centers itself um, but yeah so that's about it I won't be firing this it's ridiculously cold outside and it's only going to get colder um, but I have fired it at about 400 psi and uh, you barely have to push it at all in order to fire it now um, I will try and get a video of it here shortly uh, showing, you know, not that you'll really be able to tell that it's that much easier, but this did help a lot. Um, it's just, it's a lot easier to hold it and fire it as well than it was before. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Just a quick overview of that. I will bring it up to the camera here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, there it is. So yeah, that'll be it for this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, uh, like, and subscribe if you want to. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, take care.